Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I like to switch out my makeup routine when it starts to get a little bit colder outside. As you probably know, I live in Montreal, Canada, and it gets cold. Deep in the winter, it can sometimes hit like negative 20. We're definitely not quite there yet, but the cold weather is definitely starting to kick in and my skin is feeling it. And as soon as this starts to happen, I always have to change things up in my routine. So I'm gonna be walking you guys through my current everyday makeup routine with this colder weather in mind. And I'm gonna be letting you guys know what I switch out, why I do it. Today's video is also very kindly sponsored by Skin Fix. I'm gonna be chatting about their moisturizer, which is one of my dry skin saviors that I always have to have with me during this time of year so I'll be chatting all about that as well so I hope you guys are gonna enjoy today's video let me know all of your thoughts in the comments and without further ado let's get started so when it does start to get colder outside my skin reacts almost immediately it gets very dry very flaky and it just gets very um, sensitized as well so it's really really important for me to treat my skin with the proper skincare so that my makeup actually applies properly so in the spring and summer months i like to use more of like a lightweight moisturizer nothing too heavy but in the fall and winter i like to switch that out for something a lot more hydrating and even a little bit thicker and something that's also going to kind of help my sensitized skin so last season i actually discovered this skin fix barrier plus triple lipid peptide cream and this like saved my skin. I think I went through like two or three of these last season because I just slathered this stuff on my face because my skin just loved it. So this season, I'm gonna be using this stuff religiously again because it really just helps so much with my super, super dry and sensitive skin. This is basically like lipid filler for your skin. And if you don't know what lipids are, they're essential like fats that your skin needs in order for your skin barrier to be as healthy as it could possibly be. And the more lipids that you have in your skin, the better your skin barrier will function in kind of defending your skin against premature aging and dryness and inflammation and redness and all that stuff. So not only is this very hydrating, but it also helps a lot with inflammation and redness. And it really just helps to keep my skin just feeling balanced. And so the reason why I just love this so much last season is because this just really kept my skin feeling good pretty consistently throughout the entire season. Okay, let's actually put it on my face. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's one of those push dispensers, which I love because it's just so much more hygienic than dipping your fingers into a jar of moisturizer. All you gotta do is just push down on here and it actually dispenses like the perfect amount of product. I am definitely not shy with my moisturizer, especially during this time of year, because like I said, my skin just needs a thick layer of moisture. I've said this a million times, but skincare really is the best primer that you could use for your makeup. If your skin is like properly prepped and properly moisturized before applying your makeup, then your makeup is just gonna look 10 times better. And as I'm sure you guys know, this Sephora holiday savings event is happening right now. So if you wanna try the Skin Fix Barrier Plus, you'll be able to get between 10 to 20% off depending on your status until November 15th. So for my foundation, I like to go with something that's lightweight and very, very hydrating. And the Kosas Tinted Face Oil has been my go-to as of late. Like this has been one of the only foundations that I've been putting on for day to day because it's just so hydrating. And I find even when my skin does look a little bit flaky, this doesn't accentuate it. And it actually just makes my skin feel and look even more hydrated. So I'm gonna shake it up because it's very oily. And I'm gonna just put a little bit on the back of my hand. You actually don't need a lot with this stuff, even though this is a face tint. Um, it has some pretty good coverage to it, which is what I like so much about it. And the shade that I'm using today is 3.5, which matches me pretty perfectly right now. It's really funny because when I first started using this product, I actually really did not like it. And then I revisited it not too long ago, actually, and I fell in love with it. And it's just so funny when that happens because I feel like that happens to me all the time when I try a product and I really, really don't like it. And then I revisit it and it just becomes like one of my favorites. It's kind of funny. So I'm blending this in with my Rare Beauty foundation brush. This has been my go-to foundation brush lately. It's so good. It's like the perfect size, the perfect density, the perfect shape. I just love it. So even though I pretty much always use skin tints for day to day, no matter what time of year it is, I just make sure that in the winter time that I'm just using something really hydrating and this just fits the bill for me. So for my concealer, I also wanna use something that's nice and lightweight and natural looking and hydrating. And I'm so happy that my Elia True Skin Serum Concealer is back in my life. This is like one of my favorite go-to everyday concealers and I didn't have it in my life for like a couple of weeks, actually longer than that. I think it was like 
a month or two that I didn't have and I really genuinely missed it. Finally got a new one. I was waiting for the Sephora sale to come around and it's happening right now. So I picked this up and um, yeah, I just don't know how I ever live without this. It's just so good. It's just a great medium coverage concealer that really just looks so nice and natural underneath the eyes despite being like pretty good coverage. And I also love the shade of this. It matches me really, really well. This is the shade Sula. So I'm gonna take the same foundation brush that I use and just blend that out. And this concealer and the Kosas foundation also mesh together really, really nicely. It's always something to consider because not every concealer and foundation combo work well together. This one does though. I am gonna set my face with powder. It's gonna be no surprise that I'm using my Kosas Cloud Set. You guys know this is one of my favorites, but I'm also using this very purposefully because during this time of year when it is colder, like powder and me really, really don't get along. And it's still necessary because I still want to be able to set my makeup. I still want it to last the entire day. I don't want things to crease. So I still need to use powder, but I really don't want to use something that's going to make my dryness any more visible. And the cloud set is really awesome. I've said this like a million times. I'm such a broken record, but it kind of just like sets your makeup, but it doesn't leave any powderiness on the skin. And it also acts as almost like a filter too. And so it has that extra benefit to it, which I really, really love because it just makes my skin look really awesome. And again, this entire combination, the foundation, the concealer and this powder, it's beautiful. So I'm going to be just taking a fluffy brush and this is the shade Feathery. I'm just gonna sweep this, not on my entire face because I just don't need it everywhere, but mainly on the center of my face and underneath my eyes to make sure that things don't crease and they don't budge. Okay, time to add some color to my face because I am looking very pale and one color right now. I'm definitely at my palest during this time of year. And so blush and bronzer is like imperative for me to just kind of look alive again. And creams are like my jam all year round. You guys know that, but especially in the winter time, I almost exclusively use creams just because they mesh with dry skin so nicely. And so this guy is definitely gonna be one of my go-tos this winter. This this is the Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer in Medium Bronze. <gasps> this is so good, you guys. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite everyday cream bronzers. It just melts into the skin so easily. It's so great to use. And the color is also beautiful, even when I'm super pale. And this looks like kind of deep for my skin right now, but because it's such like a sheer buildable bronzer, it kind of works whether I'm like this pale or even a little bit more tan which I really love because it, it makes it so I don't need to purchase another shade because it is just like such a buildable product. So I'm taking that on this Sigma um, Flat Kabuki F80 airbrush and I'm just going to bronze my face with this. So I'm putting it on my cheekbones, on my temples, on my forehead just to kind of add a little bit of life back into my face here. Even though I'm not getting sun kiss this time of year, you can always fake it with makeup. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this, and just kind of put it right across the bridge of my nose. Just adds a little bit of like that sun kiss touch to my makeup look. So even though I love the way the creams look on their own, I actually sometimes like to set it down with a little bit of a powder bronzer, which I know what you're thinking, but you just said that you pretty much exclusively use creams in the winter time, and that's true. But sometimes I wanna set it down just so um, the bronzer's locked in and I get a little bit more of a long wearing look because creams typically just fade a little bit quicker and when you lock it down with even just a light layer of powder, it's just going to last a lot longer throughout the day. I really like this bronzer from Glowish by Huda Beauty. It's a soft radiance bronzing powder and this one is in 0310 light because it's such a lightweight bronzer. Like this does not apply a lot to the skin. It's very low in pigment, which is kind of what I want when I'm setting my cream bronzer because it's not going to add any heaviness or really any powderiness to my skin. It's just really gonna simply set it down and it's still going to leave me with that nice like creamy finish that I that I like. And I'm gonna take it on a big fluffy bronzer brush. This is the Fenty Beauty 170. I just pick up a little bit of it and just layer it on top of where I put that bronzer. I'm not piling it on or anything. I kind of just wanna make sure that it's set down. Blush. Blush is the most important step in this entire routine because this is what really kind of takes it to the next level. Um, when I am on the paler side in the winter time, 
I really like to focus on just making my cheeks look as rosy as possible because I feel like that's the most natural way to add color to my face because I can go crazy with the bronzer, but I feel like that could start to look a little bit unnatural <laughs> at a certain point, but I could go crazy with the blush and yeah, maybe it doesn't look the most natural, but I feel like it's a little bit more of like a realistic look especially in the winter time when your skin gets a little bit red from like the cold and all of that. So I just like to accentuate that with like a shit ton of blush. So the Rose Ink blushes are my current favorite cream blushes. They're so beautiful. I've been using the shade Anemone and I absolutely love it. And I just picked up Fox Love from the Sephora sale again. And I haven't tried this yet. So I'm gonna try it for the first time with you guys because look at this color and is it not the most perfect like burnt terracotta color you've ever seen? Uh, yeah, it is. The answer is yes. I'm actually gonna use the same brush that I used for my bronzer. Just pick up a little bit of this. Oh, pigmented. And just kind of stamp it on both cheeks and start blending. This color is gorgeous. I feel like this color is actually a perfect transition from a more like summery cheek because I really love orange blushes specifically like in the summertime, but I don't really wear them so much in the winter time because I don't really feel like it suits my skin tone in the winter time, but I feel like this is actually a perfect, more like suitable orangey blush for the fall and winter because it has those nice like orangey undertones, but there's really nice warmth to it as well to make it a little bit more wearable. And I just think this is so pretty. And I'm taking whatever's left over my brush and putting it across my nose where I put that bronzer as well. We're sun kissed. For my brows, it really doesn't matter what season I'm in. I'm always lazy with my brows. It just, it's just the way it is. So I love like a one stop shop for my brows. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Brow Fixer. And this is awesome because it's a brow gel, but it also fills in the brows at the same time. So it's so quick and so easy and it gives me a nice bold brow. And even though I don't like filling in my brows, I do, I do enjoy a bold brow a natural bold brow. In the winter time, I actually like my brows to be a little bit extra bold. Kind of like how I sometimes dye my hair a little bit darker in the winter time. I also like my brows to be a little bit darker in the winter time. I don't know why, it's just kind of something that I, that I tend to do. So I basically just brush this through my entire brow and I put whatever's left over on the spoolie towards the front, just so it's not quite as dark. For my eyes, I actually enjoy doing like darker, not super smoky, but just like darker eyes in the winter time, but still in a very wearable way. I don't often do this in the summertime. Like in the summertime, I'm very light and bright on the eyes, but in the winter time and fall time, I do like a little bit of, of darkness on my lids, but for every day, I still like it to be nice and wearable. And these guys are so beautiful. They're from Iconic London and it is the Glaze Crayon. And it's basically like a little two in one. So on one side you have a cream shadow and then on the other side you have a liquid shadow and you can use them separately. You can use them together. The shade that I'm using is called uh, Volcanic and it's really pretty because it's kind of like this bronzy, taupey, purpley shade. It's very cool. So to keep this wearable, I'm basically just doing just this on my eye and I'm doing a very light layer of it. So I'm first gonna go in with the cream and I'm just going to put this all over my lid. And it's not as dark as you would expect. It's a little bit more of like a medium tone bronze, bronzy taupe. It's so pretty. Over the last little bit, I've been really into just like one color, super easy um, eyeshadow looks. And so that's why I really love products like these because even though it's one color, it's still going to look dimensional and fun and it's not boring at all. So now I'm gonna go in with the liquid side, which is a little bit more shimmery than the cream. And I like to put this mainly in like the center of the lid. And before it sets down, I'm just gonna go in with my clean finger and just kind of pat it out. So it adds a little bit of shimmer. Now that I think of it, this can actually be really great for like a day to night look. You could put the cream on for daytime because it's a little bit more subtle. And then if you wanna amp it up for nighttime, you could just layer the, um, the liquid on top to add a little bit more oomph or you could just do them both all at once. 
in the daytime <laughs> like I'm doing. For my mascara, I'm actually gonna be using the Rare Beauty mascara. Now I feel like I have to apologize about this because when I tried this in one of my recent videos, my testing new makeup videos, I wasn't such a huge fan of this, but since that video, I have used it a couple more times and I actually really like it. Um, and I, I started to change my mind about it. So similar to like the Kosas foundation, the same thing kind of happened with this Rare Beauty Mascara. And that's why, friends, you gotta try things more than once. And I actually have been enjoying this because I like the way it makes my lashes look. So I'm just gonna put a solid amount of this on my upper lashes. Okay, so we're almost done. The last thing that I wanna apply to my lips is the lip color. Now, during the Sephora sale, I also picked up a huge variety of Merit lip oils, the tinted lip oils, four to be exact. <laughs> the reason why I picked up so many of them, well, first of all, I really love this formula, but second of all, I just really, really, really like these types of like tinted lip oily formulas, especially for this time of year when my lips get really dry. I love formulas like these because they're super hydrating, but it still gives you that really beautiful color. And it's not just like a tinted lip balm. Like I love a tinted lip balm, but these are way more than a tinted lip balm. It gives you that hydration, but the color is way more intense. So I'm not sure which one I want to wear today. I'm kind of feeling this brown one. I feel like it's it's really bold and fun, and I'm really interested to see what it'll look like on because I actually haven't tried it yet. This is in the shade Falcon. I actually feel very, very 90s and cool with this lip color. I love it. And it's also nice because I don't feel like you necessarily need a lip liner with a color like this, but if you do decide to put on a lip liner, which I'm going to do just for funsies, it's a really nice way to make it pop. So this is my M Cosmetics Kitten Lip Liner, one of my faves. I'm so happy I picked up this color. It honestly looked a little bit scary because it's like such a dark brown and sometimes tinted lip colors like this and dark brown just not they don't look good because they can look a little bit patchy but this is not patchy at all and this is like the perfect wintry nude lip so the last thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to spray my face with a setting spray there are a bunch of different setting sprays that i enjoy for this time of year for like colder weather this one is one of my newer favorites it's the milk makeup hydro grip set and refresh spray this is just really good in like locking down your makeup but it also has hydrating properties to it as well it's alcohol free so this is really great if you do have a drier skin type so that is basically everything that's in my current everyday makeup bag, all the things that I like to use when it starts to get a little bit colder outside. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on anything that I used today, on the look. If you've tried any of the products, I would love to get your own reviews. And oh my God, I just can't get over this lip. I keep catching, catching my uh, reflection in my little viewfinder and I just love it so much. This is gonna be such a favorite of mine this winter. I can't wait. Okay, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.